Hi guys. Um, today I'm doing something that I have not done before. Um, title says it all. I'm doing a haul. Oh, this is a rhyme. The haul and all. Sorry. Me and my friend Kendall discovered this um, Goodwill Outlet Center. It's the best part about this is that everything's on like tables which isn't the best part this is not the best part but everything's on like tables like kind of like shallow bins and everything except for like TVs and bikes and big things everything in the shallow bins is 79 cents a pound so you can rack up on some good shit because they have well the one I went to and I'm sure all the other ones have like Levi um, high-waisted jeans Loads and loads of VHS tapes, which I'm addicted to, um, and just like anything you could ever imagine, basically, and it's heaven, heaven in a warehouse. So we went there, and I got some stuff from there, um, and it, yeah, it all rounded out to like seven dollars and twenty-three cents. So I had just under ten pounds of stuff. Me, my mom, and my grandma went out yesterday and just kind of went perusing, I guess, and kind of like. We went to TJ Maxx and to the mall, and they were buying me things, and it was nice. But yeah, so I'll get started. Um, I'll start with the stuff I got yesterday, I guess. So I got this shirt. This is something I bought, but I got this shirt from Hot Topic. It says Mordecai and the Rigby's, which um, is from the show, regular show, the episode when they made a band. Um, it was supposed to be mustache cash dash, but Rigby ordered a bunch of shirts that said Mordecai and the Rigby's, and they look just like this, and so I'm super, super stoked. This cost me $22.50. I also bought this shirt, which was on sale, and then my grandma actually ended up paying me back for it, but I bought this shirt, and it's it says Bowie, and that's David, you know, it's got David Bowie's face in it, and like, it just goes down, and it's him. Okay, and I just really like David Bowie. Um, I have one of his albums. My friend bought it for me for my birthday. And I just love everything about this man. So I decided I'd get this shirt. And this shirt was on sale for $7.99. So that was pretty good. I like, like a bunch of t-shirts. On sale right now too. That's like a rack of $4.99 t-shirts. A rack of $7.99 t-shirts. And like a rack of like $9.99 clothes. So that includes like jackets and jeans and stuff. Which is sick because their jeans, even though they're not like traditional denim, they fit amazing. And they're so comfortable. We went into H&M. My grandma got me these earrings that I picked out for myself, and they're really, really cute. There's these shells, just traditional like shells, turtles, um, seahorses, and dolphins, which are my favorite sea animal ever. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, these are from H&M, and they were $4.95. So. I love these and um, as you can see I don't have like a hole in my in either of my ears really to put these in so I might have to get my ears pierced again because I'm seeing a lot of earrings I really like but these I bought them to go into like my collared shirts so you know like you button up the shirt and then there's the two little collars and then you I stick these in like close to the um, close to the pointed end yeah so I just got these little sea dream sea dream earrings and um, last thing from the mall I think is my mom well I picked these out and I was gonna buy them for myself but my mom um, paid for them for me which was really nice well my dog just came in the room Say hi, Marco. Say I gotta make an appearance in every video. Look at the video. There you go. Mwah. All right. I got these little booty shorts from American Eagle. Um, and it's actually in the separate, like the separate uh, store for like their pajamas and stuff called Airy. And they're the Slim Jim short. And um, I got them in an extra large because. I have um, thunder thighs, basically. <laughs> but yeah, they've got this cute, like, um, geometric. I would almost call it 
Aztec, but not quite, but this like geometric pattern on the rollover part. And um, I really like that. I really like those a lot. Um, this is a medium. The David Bowie shirt is a large. And then we went to TJ Maxx real quick because everybody wanted something from there. Because uh, we went to TJ Maxx yesterday, I think. So, yeah. And I got these Nike, like, blazer. I think, I'm pretty sure they're knockoffs. I'm almost positive that they're not real. Um, because the bottom is, like, the strangest thing I've ever seen. They don't say Nike on them or anything. I don't have any blazers, so I don't know what the bottom of the blazers is supposed to look like. But, as you can see, this is really strange. But, um... I just, I'm in love with them, and I go to TJ Maxx not very often, but I have been dropping in there a lot lately because they have, like, college stuff for, like, dorms or whatever. But, um, these I keep seeing, and I keep wanting them, and so my mom finally gave in and bought them for me. And, um, oh, hold on, I forgot to say that these shorts were on sale for $9.99, and there was additional 30% off, so they were $6.99. And, yeah, that's, that's that. I don't know how much they originally cost, probably like 30 bucks or something. But, yeah, these, they have like, kind of like a textured uh, swoosh, which I think is really cool. And then they have like this jersey knit, um, these jersey knit accents. And I just think they're super, super cute. So, yeah, these were $40. Stop it. Okay, but yeah, I'm in love with these. I They're in a 9 because if you have a TJ Maxx where you live, you know that, like, sizes and things are hard to come by there. And then I'm in the, I'm, I have slightly, my feet are slightly on the larger side, and I wear an 8.5 usually, but at TJ Maxx, I usually just buy what I can get if I can get my foot into them, and then I'll just wear thicker socks or something, but I do wear nines sometimes so these are a nine and they are a little bit looser which is not a big deal they don't make my feet look huge so i'm not too worried about it but yeah okay and on to my goodwill things so first i'm wearing one of the things and it's this branson hat and um it's like it's a snapback trucker hat type thing with like this little cord across the front and I just kind of like tilt the bill up a little bit and um which kind of just adds to my whole like regular show look because on the episode on the episode where they were trying to be like cool you know they were stacking hats or whatever but completely irrelevant Branson is um a city in Missouri which is kind of like um Kind of like bootleg Vegas. I'm not really sure. I've never been. But, um, yeah. So I got this. And I got... Th this stuff hasn't been washed yet. Which I'm going to do when I finish filming this video. But, yeah. Um, I have this, like, Aztec print golf shirt. That, um... I love Aztec print. So, if, if I... If I don't like this shirt, then I'm going to just use the Aztec print for something else. But... Basically, yeah, it's just like an Aztec golf shirt. The brand is Express Rider. And um, it reminds me of like when I was in fifth grade because my mom's boyfriend, he was giving me like his old golf shirts because um, he didn't wear them anymore. And I was a really strange child. I was just wearing whatever. I would wear like flannel shirts and like little booty shorts from like, um, not like booty booty shorts, but like short shorts from like limited to just really weird shit but um yeah so he was giving me golf shirts and so this reminded me of that and reminded me of him he passed away so I bought this because I love it and it looks like it'll be oversized on me which is great and then I got three pairs of um high-waisted Levi's and this pair I've already cut into shorts because I could not wait and um these are, the shirt was a size large, by the way. These are um, a 34-inch waist, and they were 34 in length, but obviously I just cut that off, so that's not really important. But, yeah, and 
um, I cut them into shorts and then on one pocket I used just this extra fabric that I had laying around which I'm sure you guys are like why the fuck do you have pickle fabric laying around but I got it from the from my high school um, a couple years ago two years ago I think I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of, of um, like pocket um, design detail type things on jeans and I'm not one for like florals too much as you can probably tell um so I use pickles and these are a 36 inch waist with a 32 length and these are they're a bit of a lighter wash I would say than the other ones and they come up probably a couple inches higher as well which might be because they're bigger and these I left as jeans and I'm going to leave as jeans because I want a pair of like mom jeans and then basically they're rolled up at the bottom, but um, obviously I can take that out, but I kind of like it. But yeah, they're, and they're um, 560s, so they're a loose fit with a tapered leg, which is like pretty much exactly what I wanted. And then this pair, which is a little bit newer, I think, and then this kind of different, like, I wouldn't even know what to call this, but yeah. There, these are a 35 inch waist with a 32 um, inseam, and they're 505s, and they're just called regular fit, I guess, but they are a little bit high waisted, and these don't fit me at all. I can't button them, which is um, weird, but like I said, Levi's sizing is weird because the 34s and the 36s fit fine. But the 35s do not. And obviously it's a different, it's not the same denim, so it's not going to stretch the same and all of that. What I bought a lot of is VHSs. So the first one that I bought is the Rugrats movie, which doesn't have a case as you can see. And Nickelodeon always did their VHSs in orange. And then I bought Interview with a Vampire because this movie is brilliant and I love it. I bought this because we already have it on DVD, but my mom loves it as much as I do, and she's not going to let me bring it with me. So, Interview with a Vampire. And then I bought this Spice Girls tape, and I got it home, and I realized that it wasn't Spice World, like the actual feature film, which is kind of sad, but it's no big deal. If, wait, one, two, three, five songs on it. I guess they're music videos, and it comes with Wannabe, which is like the one that everybody knows. Say You'll Be There, To Become One, Mama, plus an exclusive version of Who Do You Think You Are. Yeah, and there's little Victoria Beckham. Ooh. I bought Pulp Fiction because I haven't seen it yet, and I really need to. And, um, Pulp, I don't know, I can't tell you much about Pulp Fiction. And then I bought Back to the Future because if you could see past my big rack of clothes you'd see a back to the future poster i love this film film and i don't have it well now i do i didn't have it robert zemeckis is one of my favorite directors but michael j fox and christopher lloyd are the two main dudes and i love this movie then i bought the breakfast club which is like quintessential typical 80s movie everybody knows it i'm i i think i'm pretty sure everybody knows breakfast club it's the Lizzie McGuire movie, which I love. It just makes me happy, and it reminds me of being like 13 and 12 and 9, all of those ages. Miranda's not in it, as you probably know, which is sad because I love Miranda. I'd have to say that that's pretty much it for my haul. Like, I, you basically got my outfit of the day. I'm just wearing blue jeans, and I'm probably going to wear these shoes. So, yeah, I don't have foundation on just winged liner and mascara I'm in a different location today because all my stuff is already in my room but this is my room which I'm sure you gathered and this is my clothes rack Ooh, these are my movies DVDs up here there's two two rows of DVDs you know what I mean there's DVDs behind which you can see and then VHS's and then there's more VHSs here because I quickly ran out of room on my 
little shelf. That's pretty much my room. We've got a dream catcher over there. We've got Abbey Road and Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. Stay up.